Is Alpac the most beautiful place in the world to learn to ski? We travelled to the Austrian Alps to find out. As absolute beginner skiers, we had done loads of research and heard there is no better place in the world for beginners than the idyllic ski village of Alpac, located in the heart of the picture-perfect Austrian Alps. We knew that learning how to ski would be challenging, and so we treated ourselves to a pretty fancy hotel with five-star amenities. Hotel de Boglehof was an absolute highlight of our trip, but keep watching to find out why. We checked into our amazing accommodation at the Five Star Boglehof Hotel, but there was no time to rest. We quickly picked up our hired ski gear from Connie's rental, which luckily was super close, and headed out for our first day of ski lessons. We had an awesome and patient Alpac local as our instructor, with a super cool name matching mine, Peter. We spent all of the first morning on a really flat slope, learning the basic techniques and mastering the pizza stops. This beginner slope had a motorised chain which made getting back to the top of each small run a breeze. After an hour or so of getting the basics down pat, we were proudly promoted to a slightly longer and steeper learning run at the base of the ski lift. We were still surrounded by children but starting to gain some confidence, gathering some speed and making wide turns, albeit with a fall or two. After four hours of skiing, we were sore and exhausted, physically and mentally. We definitely recommend booking two or three hour lessons. We were ruined after our big first day. Had a good morning skiing, but I'm looking forward to just having a drink and some sauna this afternoon. Our ski instructor told us that there was meant to be some serious snowfall over the next couple of days, which will have a big impact on visibility. So we should head to the top of the mountain this afternoon to see the incredible panorama. As our legs definitely needed a break, we unclipped our skis and left them at the bottom of the lift and caught the Poglobahn to the top. We are so grateful for Peter's advice as the views were so amazing and it would have been such a shame to miss them. While we weren't ready to ski around these steep slopes just yet, being the big kids that we are, we saw the Alpac Tala Lorza Sorsa, which is an alpine roller coaster. This ride was seriously fun and low-key a little bit scary. I was shocked at how long the track was and the speed that we were allowed to reach. The track is a whopping 1.4 kilometres and has an elevation drop of 134 metres. While Grace and I certainly didn't hit this number, some people have been clocked at over 40 kilometres an hour on the ride. And don't worry though, you don't have to walk back up the 134 metres of elevation at the end. The ride takes you all the way from bottom to top while still sitting in the coaster cart. After a day up the mountain, we were ready to sit back, relax and enjoy some of the incredible amenities of the hotel. The highlight was definitely the Wellness Centre that had only just opened for winter 2024. This adults only area was incredible and where we spent almost all of our time at the hotel. This was the perfect place to enjoy a few cocktails and recoup for the next day of skiing. Even without skiing, the experience was well worth a stay at De Boglehof. The hotel was inclusive of breakfast and a four course dinner each night. And we have the exact same table throughout our entire stay, which is really cool because you really get to know the guests seated around you. And the hotel must be doing something right because everyone else were on at least their third or fourth return visit. Alpac has been crowned Austria's most beautiful village. It has amazing rows of uniform, traditional wooden buildings. When we first arrived though, we were a little bit disappointed. It hadn't snowed for a few weeks and we just weren't driving into the winter wonderland that we had expected. Luckily, there was heavy snowfall on our first night and we woke up to a village that looked totally different. Two Australians who don't get to see a lot of snow, so this is absolutely magical. It's so incredible. cool. The European, you're probably like, what are they so excited about? <laughs> this is incredible for us. It's the only village apparently in Austria where they have a local code that all of the buildings need to be built in the traditional style. And it's so magical with the snow top roof. What do you think? Do you think it's Austria's most beautiful village? Mm, I feel a little bit torn. The village is incredibly beautiful, but having just come from Hallstatt, we think that that village could also be a contender for the title. Check out our Hallstatt vlog and let us know what you think in the comments. 
It was time for some more skiing, so we squeezed our sore, tired and slightly bruised legs back into our ski boots and grabbed our skis for day two of our lessons. We jumped on the Poggle Barn to the top, and while we weren't quite ready for the blue runs, we did step up to a much longer and steeper run, which was still great for learning, and had a tea bar at the bottom to get us back to the top. Peter was absolutely right. The visibility today was completely different, and we could barely see 100 metres in front of us, so luckily we enjoyed the amazing views the day before. After two hours of skiing, it was time for a warming lunch and of course some schnapps, which I clearly enjoyed. After some Dutch courage from the beer and schnapps, Peter was ready to tackle some blue runs. A bit more of an apres ski girl myself, I indulged in a Bailey's hot chocolate and some people watching. While we were having so much fun out on the mountain, a little part of us was longing to get back to our hotel in the outrageously luxurious wellness centre. Once back, we quickly grabbed two more cocktails and were straight in the pool. I stupidly thought that maybe an ice plunge might be good for my muscle recovery. This partially frozen pool, unsurprisingly, was ridiculously cold. Luckily, we could head straight back over to the steam room and defrost again by the fire. So is our pack good for beginners? Well, we've attempted a day of skiing in a couple of other spots and our pack was definitely the best place to ski for newbies like us. There were two ski schools in the village with an abundance of instructors and Peter, our teacher, was fantastic. We felt that there were plenty of learning spots at the foot of the mountains, and there was also a good amount of slopes for beginners at the top of the Alps, so we could really experience skiing at a high elevation despite our very limited skills. Next week we're headed to the capital of Bavaria, so make sure you keep an eye out for that vlog.